Hey folks, my name is Kevin Chen, Developer Advocate at Kong Inc. Today I'll be talking about Insomnia and helping you get started in five minutes. Insomnia is a set of tools built for you to design, debug, and test your APIs in an intuitive manner. There are two open source Insomnia tools. First is Designer. Designer is a collaborative API design tool for designing, testing, and managing your open API specifications. The second tool is Core. Insomnia Core is a desktop API client for REST and GraphQL. It allows you to make requests and inspect responses easily so you can debug and test your APIs like a human. This video will cover how to get started on the API client Insomnia Core. First, we wanna to go to insomnia.rest to find the latest release. Here, you can find the latest release of both Designer and Core for your operating system. Since I already have Insomnia Core installed on my computer, I will be skipping this step. But make sure before you follow along on this video, pause for a second and download Insomnia Core. After you have Insomnia downloaded and running on your computer, you'll be greeted with this clean UI. Insomnia was built to be intuitive for the users, yet still packing all the features you need to get the job done. To create your first request, click the plus icon at the top of the sidebar and select new request. You will then be prompted to give the request a name and choose its HTTP method. For this example, we'll make a request to fetch Insomnia's changelog as JSON. So we'll name the request fetch insomnia change log. And then you click the create button on the bottom right. After the request is created, set the URL to changelog.insomnia.rest slash changelog.json. For anyone watching this video and want a written guide, you can find everything on the official Insomnia website. Once you have that URL set, click the send button. And once the request is complete, the details will be visible in the response pane on the right side of the application. Here you will see the status, time, and size up top. And then the JSON, header, cookie, and timeline in the tabs below. These tools will help you easily debug your request. Making a request on Insomnia is that simple, but let's explore a more powerful feature in Insomnia, environment variables. They save time by allowing you to define common values in a single place and then reference those values in multiple requests. In this example, we'll make the base URL variable to store the commonly repeated part of the URL, changelog.insomnia.rest. To add environment variable, click Manage Environments within the Environment dropdown in the sidebar up on the left side. After the editor appears, type the JSON object in the base environment as seen in the following screen. Click done when you have completed this. Once you have the variable defined, it will show up in the autocomplete as you type. Start typing in the URL by replacing the front half of the URL. Now, if we were to make the same request, we will still get the same status code and the response. If you have any questions or you can encounter any issues along the way, please do not hesitate to reach out to the vibrant community around Insomnia. You can find us on the Insomnia Slack channel, or you can always open up an issue or PR on the GitHub. Thank you so much for following along. Hope to see you in upcoming videos about Insomnia.